There are a number of stories about Anzac from within our community, but given this is the centenary of Anzac, I wanted to pay respect to Karoo Rennell, a member of the family who gave the name Rennella to this region. Today, this lake in Old Rennella, alongside St Francis Winery, is named in Karoo's honour. Karoo was born on September 16, 1883, and grew up to be a talented spirits maker and sportsman, taking over management of the family business as a 20-year-old. An accomplished horseman and polo player, his love of horses and the military combined when the Great War erupted in Europe. He joined the Australian Imperial Forces as a major and second in command of the 9th Light Horse Regiment. As an aside, not many people know that at the beginning of World War I, just over O'Halloran Hill, Glenthorne Farm was purchased by the Australian Army to be used as a horse stud and army remount depot. Karoo Rennell was part of the 9th Light Horse Regiment, which was deployed without their horses and called to storm the beaches of Gallipoli in May 1915. After three months of fighting, the regiment was reduced from 326 men to 181, but the worst was yet to come. Karoo and his men were tasked with joining the third attempt to take Hill 60 at the net. Early morning on August 27, 1915, Karoo Rennell was part of the charge into the freshly made trenches that Turkish soldiers had established. Within minutes, they were cut down by the volley of machine gun fire. Of the 181 remaining men in Rennell's unit, 36 were killed and 49 wounded, with four soldiers later dying from their wounds. Among the dead was Lieutenant Colonel Karoo Rennell. He was 32 years old. His body was retrieved from the battlefield and he was buried at the Hill Cemetery under a small group of trees. But his memory and family name lives on in the south of Adelaide and as we remember Anzac, we remember Karoo Rennell.